Could climate change be making air turbulence more common and severe? The death of one passenger and injuries to others on a Singapore Airlines flight has underlined the potential dangers of severe turbulence in particular. We could start feeling that the airplane was uh, entering some kind of turbulence. So the plane starts shaking. It kept getting worse and worse and worse. While fatalities are extremely rare, turbulence-related aircraft incidents are common. A 2023 report from the University of Reading suggests turbulence could get worse as the climate changes and temperatures rise. <laughs> Airline Ratings Editor-in-Chief Jeffrey Thomas. Turbulence is becoming more prevalent as climate changes and a university's research in the United Kingdom has shown that over the last 40 years, Severe turbulence has increased by 55%, moderate turbulence by 37%, and slight turbulence or light turbulence by about 17%. One of the study's authors, Professor Paul Williams, also stressed more research is needed to understand the impact of climate change on air turbulence. But there is some reassurance for passengers. The, the industry has made extraordinary strides through technology, weather radar, sophisticated weather radar, and all sorts of other preventative strategies. Over the last 20 years, in particular, aircraft are fitted with far more sophisticated radar called multi-scan. They're also making progress into turbulence detection as well. Following the Singapore Airlines incident, Thomas also says it's important to always wear a seatbelt. I think this incident will prompt airlines, whether it's a, a, an official mandate or not. But airlines saying we recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened while seated. No recommend. I think throw away the word recommend. This is mandated. You must put your seatbelt on. 